Hey, Robert. So, wow, we got a lot of people here that want to know how to uh, find nines and tens. That's good. That's, that's, that's awesome. Hey there, Robert. Appreciate you for being here and, uh, and yeah. helping us out. So, so yeah, yeah. Most of the people here, uh, maybe some people are just listening in and are excited to learn how to, how to find eight, nines, and tens. But a lot of people here actually already have eight, nines, and tens in their contact list or they have relationships with. And somebody had asked me, it was Deborah Cox, in fact. Uh, hi, Deborah. Uh, Deborah had asked me, she said she has a lot of eight, nines, and tens that she could reach out to, but how does she pique their interest? And I thought, you know what? Uh, what a great way to introduce her to you, the expert <laughs> at the, with the peak of interest. You make it so easy. Uh, and then uh, a lot of people started hearing us about the, doing this and they said, I know eight, nines, and tens too. <laughs> so, we all so, do. We all do. So yeah, absolutely. And so that, everyone's excited to hear what you have to share. Well, thank you, Mike, so much. And I'm recording this. So if some of you, uh, uh, you know, want to send it to other people, your team or whatever, uh, we can do that um, um, uh, right away. And uh, one of the things that I want you guys to know is that <clears throat> the only reason I know the stuff that I'm about ready to share you with you guys is, believe it or not, um, I believe that I just met my mentor, one of my mentors, Bill Gold was his name just at the right place at the right time. Him and a bunch of people had left another company. They were all trying to become the number one money earner in the next company that they went into. And um, so the way that my mentor helped me was not asking me if I, A, some of you are gonna have difficulties with this, but I believe that you'll, you'll get it right away, is my mentor wasn't interested in selling me any product or getting me involved in anything. He wanted me to expose him to the best people I knew. <laughs> so <clears throat> a lot of people think they need to explain a lot of stuff. And in reality, we don't. We, if we can make it so simple and easy for them, if they go, oh, yeah, I understand that, and then they'll, they'll, they'll follow. So the only reason that people do, is, do it is if you make, it, make, it, um, make them understand that it's very simple that you're gonna do the majority of the work because it's worth it for you and that you're there to help. So I give them analogies and you'll, you'll see that in a second. So one of the first things I want every one of you to get, and I know that some of you are gonna laugh when I do this, but it, it's, it's exactly what it's all about. So I'm gonna share my screen here. And um, the one thing that I wanna share with you guys here, let me put this up here and then I'll get rid of Zoom here. Um, how many of you guys have heard of Walmart? Okay, right here is where you can get on the Walmart, Walmart affiliate program. You, you, you can do it for free. They give you a link. And then if you promote any product that Walmart has, uh, you can get a percentage. Has any of you heard of Apple? <laughs> uh, this is Apple's uh, affiliate program. Okay, have you heard of Amazon? Uh, this is Amazon's affiliate program. Is this, have you heard of Tesla? This is Tesla's referral program. My son has a Tesla and he's already referred it to four people. And now he has like, I think eight years of free charging. All right. So why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing it up really simply is that your first approach to a person was going, hey, listen, I'm sure you've heard of Tesla and Amazon, Walmart. They all have affiliate programs that you can get involved in for free. And they give you a link that tracks everything that you're doing. And I'm working with a company that's the fastest growing of its kind. It's gotten awards for it. And through this affiliate program, people have earned over a million dollars in commissions in the last couple of years by just sharing their affiliate link online. Now, how many people like that short minute little thing then, hey, uh, what do you know about CBD? See, I don't <laughs> use that one. I don't use that one and it doesn't work very well for me because I don't use it. So I'm looking for money, 
motivated people that during this crisis, they mentally in their mind have, are not secure. You know, uh, tomorrow I plan on doing a video. You know, isn't it amazing that we're celebrating Independence Day? But one of the things that people don't realize that even if they're successful business people, they just found out that they're not independent. They're dependent. So if you are a restaurant owner, uh, you think you got it until you depend on customers patronizing your establishment. <laughs> I know people that make a lot of money in dry cleaning. Uh, can you guys think of a few businesses that have not been hurt? So at one time, they were going, oh my God, I'm trying to get a hold of Joni. And, and Joni's like saying, hey, listen, you know, I got four businesses. I, it, it takes up all my time. I just don't have any time. And she's correct because she said that. And what if I said to her, Joni, listen, um, I have people that I'm working with right now that have made over $100,000, $260,000 in the, in the last few years because I upped it to 10 grand because she got paid yesterday just like I did. <laughs> and, and it's like, all she did is I told her, listen, um, I go, how many hours a week do you think you work? And she said 100 you know, and they own CrossFit gyms. And I said, listen, Kristen, all you need to do is tell people that you're looking for people to expand a company. And if they're looking for, to generate some extra income, it's free to get involved that, that we could work with them. I said, can you just please refer me to somebody? And she said, yes. So please use that story. So Kristen Woodman, believe it or not, she, I, I think she buys product. I'm just being forward. I think she buys product underneath uh, another position for bulk orders for her gyms. So she can sometimes be 5K. <laughs> Most of the time she's an executive, but still earned over $260,000 in the last couple of years with me because she just refers me to people. And she's very forward and very blunt. Some people think that you, you can't be that way. So if I was reaching out to Deborah and Deborah said, hey, listen, you know what? Tell me a little more about this business you're in. I don't have time, Deborah. I, I run a lot of businesses that take a lot of my effort and time. And I got involved in this referral affiliate program because I know Mike really well. Is it okay if I connect you in a group chat on Facebook with Mike you guys can go back and forth and then I suggest that you jump on Zoom and he can share with you exactly what we do with people exactly like you to help you use your influence and use your contacts to be able to generate another residual cash flow. Did you guys catch that? So everything that I'm doing is also with a little bit, I'm being, we'll be always straightforward with you guys is I do something in a little script that some of you might have heard me do, but I'm gonna do it quick here today. And why I do this is because I then can honestly, with integrity, compliment the person that I'm talking to, all right? So if I was using Deborah and I said, Deborah, listen, I need you to think of a person. I really need your help. And I need you to think of a person, I just need their first name for now. But who do you know? that's really, really motivated. They're, they're an entrepreneur. They're extremely competitive. In a positive way, they're a little materialistic. You know, so every time you see them, they might have like a Gucci or, a, you know, some kind, <laughs> but they're always wearing nice clothes. They got nice cars. They, they have nice apartments or nice homes or decorated really well. And, and who do you know like that, Deborah? that's really, really super competitive because I, I, I want to share with you something that we can do with them. So Deborah, did you think of a name uh, when, when we were talking as I said that? Yes. And give me the name. Todd. Todd. So Deborah, thank you very much for going back and forth here and even getting to Mike to put this together. So now a person will give you the name. Why did I just ask for a first name and why did I just ask one? Because Deborah hears me, but she still doesn't know what I'm going to do. So for some of you that have been in kind of marketing before, you know, the old school way, 
that thank God I was never a part of uh, that said, you know, Deborah, why don't you put 200 people on a list of paper and what we can do is contact them. Uh, have any of you ever said that to somebody and they actually did it? I've been doing this for 33 years and Deborah's shaking her head now. And it's like, my first thought is, why would I give Mike my contact? I'm not going to do that. So that's where we're sort of stuck because we don't know how to contact our chicken list. So this is what I would say to Deborah. So Deborah, what if I reached out to Todd and I said to Todd, hi, Todd, you know, I know you don't know me. My name's Robert Hollis and I'm a good friend of Deborah's. And I was asking her who she knew that could help me expand this company. And I asked her who she knew that was really successful and motivated and always optimistic, was a great leader. And Todd, she said to you, Oh, <laughs> people are trying to figure out how to connect with people that are successful. You better take the time to compliment them on their current success, what they're doing, that someone else said good things about them. You guys following this? And I'd say, so Todd, what I would like to do is I'm expanding a company. I can send you some short videos that are you're really, really short. And I promise you, Todd, once you watch these videos, you're going to know of some people that Deborah and I can help as we expand this company. Will you give me permission? I appreciate you. Can I send you a link? Now, you guys got to understand how important this one part is before you get a contact out of somebody. Because Deborah, if I would say that to Todd, would you allow me to contact him for you? I suppose so. It's like, yeah. So a lot of times people won't give you a contact because they don't know what you're going to say to them. So you got to tell them what you're going to say to them. So now I say, Deborah, listen, there's a number of ways that we can connect with Todd. If you really feel comfortable now with the conversation that I'm going to have, is it possible that you could reach out to Todd and say, I just talked to a guy and I brought up your name. Uh, what's the phrase? I hope you I was your ears ringing. I was just talking about you. <laughs> and I met this gentleman and uh, what I would like to do is introduce you to on a group chat. And if there's anything that you guys feel like you could do together, then guess what? Maybe we could jump on a Zoom from there. But I sure don't want to waste your time, Todd. So if that's the way you could contact Todd to connect him with me, Deborah, would you feel comfortable in doing so? If I could reach him. Yeah, if you could reach him. Yeah. And, and so it, it's very unique when even you think of these people that are way up there, even if they have a couple of layers of people that, that um, are there to keep people away from them. You know what I mean? When you're talking about uh, um, them possibly helping expand a company that's the fastest growing of its kind, uh, that we've helped you know, 12 people make over a million in commissions, it really, really grabs their attention. It really, really does. A person's like, oh, wait a minute, there's something out there that I don't know. So if you could connect me with Todd, uh, then that's what I would do. You would say, hey, Todd, this is Robert. And Robert, this is Todd. I've already talked to each other about each other. And I just wanted you to connect. And then I'm going to come on there on a verbal message. And I'm going to say virtually exactly what I just told you, Deborah, that I'm going to say to Todd. And so when you tell people how you're going to do it, what you're going to say, you'll see them immediately open up and go, wow, okay, okay, I, I, you know, I could do that. So it's not whether the company is going to continue to grow. They just have a way for a person to get involved for free and then also start sending you referrals, just like Tesla and Amazon and Apple and Walmart. Do you guys think this is a little better way to approach successful people because in the past if people focus too much on the affiliate side or the network marketing side they try to bring in a lot of descriptions about the compensation plans and that's where they just say no I i'm not interested so you know if i reach out to d and i said d listen 
I think you should get in this company. All you got to do is come in at the director executive package and you only need to have three other people at 90 and PV and you got to make sure that you're balancing the legs and oh, by the way, you need to upgrade so you can get 50% uh, you know, uh, off the jump start. And, and people are like, what the hell are you talking about? Did you guys catch that? That they really will go, oh my God. And I, I know this because some of the connections I've had in the last 33 years, when I didn't know what I was doing, I blew it. Because they already told me that they're focused and they're successful and, and they really love their passion and what they're doing. And yet we're trying to get them to add something else to the plate. Does that make sense? But if we do it in the right way, then all I have to say is once they refer me to a person, and let's say I talked to Todd, and Todd said, yeah, I'd like to jump on a Zoom. While I'm doing a Zoom with Deborah, do you believe that Deborah is going to go, man, Todd sounds like he's really interested in this, and he's going to help. Um, wait a minute. Todd is signing under me, isn't he? You know, it's like... <laughs> I'm the one that got the connecting. And it's like, yeah, absolutely. You know, so I have people that even say, hey, listen, you know, why don't you reach out to Todd? All you need is some little bit of information, you know what I mean, to, to help him create a free active account. You can ask him, what would you like for your username? Which is really simple because once you create that, you can even put it in a situation where, you know, they add it to a website. If they're an influencer, uh, you create, a nice forwarder, forwarding for a domain if, if uh, they're going to share it on any kind of social media. And so this should really expand your guys' thinking because like uh, I'm sure some of you that are in mixed martial arts know who Conor McGregor is. You know what I mean? He's this Irish fighter, right? And he fought Floyd Mayweather and some of you might not know what I'm talking about. You probably will know what I'm talking about if I told you that he has 30 million followers. You know, so like a Kardashian or something like this, right? So the next step that the uh, company went to him and said, listen, all we want you to do is do a short video of you using our uh, automatic teeth brusher that you put in your mouth. It turns purple, neon purple, and it brushes your teeth and also whitens your teeth. Now, do you think if you reach out to a Conor McGregor to ask him to do a video and post it on his social media, are you thinking about asking him if he'd buy the product first? Do you know how much a turnoff that is? The people that are successful. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't even bring that up to him. If I could get Deborah to connect me with Todd and Todd is a great, great, great person. I would use Deborah's uh, uh, link to sign him up. I'd ask him what he wanted for his username. And then I would show him exactly how to introduce me to people. And we would bring up if there was any cost later. I've been able to get referrals, Mike. And, and the person was so big that I went through my wallet and said, listen, what are some of the products that you would like to try? Because you got to be a, a product of the product. So let's get your address in here and da, 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 da. And I've gone through my wallet and activated their position and sent them product out of my pocket because I knew how big their influence was. <laughs> so if this cost me a couple of hundred dollars for someone that's gonna introduce me to someone that brings in like 6,000 people, why wouldn't I do that? So I think the biggest reason for this video, Deborah, is that just to always understand that there's a way to approach everyone if you do it properly. And the one way that my mentor shared me a story and I'll share it with you guys just to give you a little bit of creativity. Um, and thought when General Motors was just starting to compete with Ford Motor Company, it, a lot of people don't know this, but General Motors, when you bought a car, it would say body by Fisher. And no one never really knew what that was. Well, Fisher was a oil company, Marathon Oil. They were out of, uh, out of um, uh, Detroit. They still have the Fisher building on the Fisher Boulevard. <laughs> Max Fisher is multi-billion dollar, you know, uh, 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 dude. And when he was first starting, he figured out how to make a thing called rubber. 
And he come up with this concept that if he put rubber around the windshield and rubber around the doors and rubber around the windows, that you could keep the dust out of your car and you could also make it so it wasn't so loud inside the car from the outside noise. And no one needed that extra cost to their car. <laughs> so this Max Fisher figured out, you know, the head of General Motors, and he did a little research on him and found out that the guy loved and collected model trains. So what he did is he went and bought an engine, wrapped it up in paper, dressed like a delivery person, and went to General Motors and said, hey, you know, this is for your, the CEO. The secretary signed it, and he said, oh, by the way, what's your name? Deborah. Hi, Deborah. I'm Robert. Well, great. Great to meet you. The next day, he came with another package, and it was a car for the train. Next day, a car. Next day, a car. Friday came around. Today, Friday. And he showed up what, 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 Thursday when he came. He also brought some flowers for Deborah, the gatekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, oh, thank you very much. He goes, great, no problem. You know, here's another package for the CEO. And then Friday came, and he showed up in his best suit a small box of chocolates for Deborah, and an unwrapped caboose. Are you guys following me? And he walks up and he says, hi, Deborah, how you doing today? And he, she goes, oh my God, it's Robert. Yeah, I said, I got some chocolates for you. She goes, you're so sweet. She says, uh, is that a package for the, you know, Mike, the owner? And, and, and she said, I'd rather you just tell him that I'd like to personally give it to him. And she says, what's your name? And just tell them that the caboose is here. How many of you think that's a pretty crazy story? What's the short part of that version? He sat down with the CEO, told him that he had put already fitted a couple of the nicest Chevys that he knew with this rubber gasket material. And General Motors bought it for every one of their cars. So when you open up a General Motors car, it had this panel on the bottom that sealed the bottom of the door and it said body by Fisher. Can you guys imagine that? Made him a multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire because he started providing rubber insulation for all these car manufacturers. So how do you get through the gatekeepers? You gotta be a little creative sometimes. <laughs> but. Believe it or not, a lot of the biggest people, whether you're a believer or for Donald Trump or not, it's crazy how people can still connect the president of the United States from Twitter. Find out what their social media stuff. Elon Musk and Donald Trump post stuff all the time. <laughs> and people go, yeah, but they don't read any of the comments. Oh, yeah, they do, because you actually can tell by their comments on Twitter that they read some comments. <laughs> So what I'll do, Mike, for the next couple of minutes is just answer any questions. Uh, I, I, I just always look at people as a doorway to somebody that needs and will do this business. And I'm always looking for business owners. Um, I know there's a lot of majority of the people just want to focus on the product. And, and that's a good way to supplement your income. It's a, it's a great, great way uh, to supplement your income. But for those of you that say, Wow, I've always heard of people like Robert that makes millions of dollars a year in this profession. I'm telling you how I do it. This is exactly what I do. I find other people and when they hear that I make six figures a month and I show my back office, they're like, what, what do I need to do to do that again? And what I do is I'm really good at asking them questions, listening to them, and sort of creating this opportunity for them within this company. I promise you, once they start getting direct deposits, uh, it's amazing how much they'll make time for this. <laughs> and by the way, that, uh, that guy that I know that did that mouth guard with uh, Conor McGregor, uh, they did something like $16 million worth of sales in two months. So I can guarantee you, Bless you, Tim. <laughs> but I can guarantee you that um, 
you know, you don't approach a, someone that's a business person and someone that's a nine and 10 and say, hey, I got something extra to add to your plate. And if you give me two hours, I'll just, I'll explain it all to you. Yeah, Tim's like, N -n no. So some of you probably haven't gone after your chicken list because you didn't know how to properly approach them. So there you go. Mike? And Robert, I just wanted to let everyone know uh, Robert's recording this so you can listen to that over and over and over again until it's just so crystal clear in your mind. Uh, and maybe that's the answer to Michelle's question. Uh, I don't know if you have anything to add to an answer other than for Michelle just to listen to this again and again. But uh, she asked, how do you get over the fear of the chicken list? You know, you're basically saying when you know what to do, you get over the fear. So listening to this replay over and over again, I think is the major step, uh, Michelle, but I wanted to see if you wanted to add anything. Yeah, and I, I could add to that. Michelle, really simple is, is we, we have a tendency of not getting what we want in life because we just won't ask. And you got to say to yourself, you know, I don't know how to talk to a person like that. Well, then you got to use edification and promotion to somebody else. Every one of you, if you're not calling Mike your business partner, you need to. If you're not saying that I'm your business partner, you need to. So Michelle, you're saying, listen, I just got off a webinar and I'm working with my business partner that makes six figures a month. And we're, we're expanding the company internationally now. And I was wondering if I could get some minutes of your time to explain exactly what this is. And if you have any questions, I need to be frank with you. I need to connect you with Mike and Robert, my business partners. I'm sure you'd rather listen to somebody that makes millions doing this instead of me. I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> so that's a great, that's a great response. If they follow, I know some people are scared, Well, what if they ask me, what is it? And, and what you just said is the, is the answer to that, right? Uh, yeah. You sure want to be rather really, to yeah. The more humble you are, the better you are. When I first used this 33 years ago, you know, I was a broke auto mechanic on workman's comp filing bankruptcy. So when I was reaching out to a chicken list, I would say to them, hey, listen, I don't know if you knew this, but you know, I, I've been on workman comp for about nine months and it looks like I can't go back to doing a mechanics business anymore. But I got introduced to a gentleman. Um, I seen his check. He's making 62 grand a month. And now I'm helping him expand a company. And I was wondering if you could just let me tell you a little bit about it enough to introduce you to Bill uh, and the guy that's making the money. And so the more I said less about myself, they would go, oh, you know, so a lot of people mess that up by setting it up wrong. You know, Mike, they'll reach out to people that are on their chicken list and go, guess what? I just started up my own online cannabis business. Well, that's sort of hard to tell people you don't know what the hell you're talking about after you make that opening statement. <laughs> I am the international galactic expansion leader. You know, I, I've seen people that their, their ego can't even fit in a room and, and they're putting so much emphasis on them doing it that now you're going to get drilled with questions. Where do they get the CBD? What farms do they get it from? You know, what's the ingredients? And you're going like, oh my God. Well, if you don't start with that, I know people want to make money and, and I know this is going to sound harsh, but I just want to get this thought out to you. My mentor said to me, Robert, if I could show you how to make $10,000 a month and it come in consistently and kept growing every month, what if I told you the product that we're using, uh, our selling is broken glass in a plastic bag? And I went, what? And he says, again, we're talking about replacing your income. And I said, to be honest, I think I would have just a little bit of problem with that because I want the product to put people in a better place. And he goes, perfect. I knew you were that kind of person. And I can guarantee you the products we market are way better than broken glass on a plastic bag. <laughs> because I know people that make millions of dollars by owning McDonald's, most of their, you know, multiple McDonald's, multiple Subway sandwich shops, multiple Starbucks. Um, it's funny that the people that own a lot of those don't eat there. 
some of you I know got that. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's a great, great, great point, Mike. And Rob, then, oh, go ahead, Deborah. Oh, I was gonna ask, um, the reason I um, asked Mike this question is because one day he was demonstrating that thing on Facebook where you look at the people commenting on Eric Worre, et cetera. And he pulled up a guy I know. And I was like, oh, I know Seth. And it was like, oh, Seth, you know, hadn't thought about Seth in a while. He was at my old company. So there's a whole gang of people who left my company all at once oh, about a year ago. Thank you, Deborah, for bringing this up. And those are the people that I'm like, yes. they're oh doing it. And I just went looking for them last night on Facebook. And I was saying, what's he doing? And what's he doing? And what's she doing? And they're all doing something. And some don't seem to be doing anything. But they're not doing the thing that they left the company for, it looks right. like. Right, Deborah, thanks for bringing this up because if you're approaching a professional marketer, affiliate or network marketer, then there's two things that you gotta sort of think in your mind, just go creative. What, what is something they can't resist? <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I say to people. I say, hey, listen, Deborah, is there anything that, I hope you're doing great. I always you know, first say that. Hey, Deborah, I hope this message finds you and yours blessed and safe during these uncertain times. And I leave it right there, just enough to get a conversation going back and forth. Yeah, yeah, we're doing okay, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm direct with people that are in marketing. I say, Deborah, is there anything I could say or do to get you to take a serious look at what I'm doing? And, and guess what? It's like really honestly, if I was dating, if I walked up, to a female and said, listen, are you married? And she said, yeah, uh, happily. <laughs> what you're looking for is a, just a small crack in the armor someplace. You guys hear what I'm saying? And if the person looks at me, of course I'm happily married. Then, then there, there's no kink, right? So Michael loved this because I don't think I've ever brought it up with me and Mike talking. Is I said to him, let me share a quick story with you. As I said, I want you to imagine pulling into a parking lot in your dream car, your dream car. And you pull up there and as soon as you get out, you see this red car pull up and you don't even recognize it. And when this red car pulls up, I get out. And I go, hi Mike, how are you? Great, what's going on? Um, you know what kind of car this is? I don't think so. Well, it's the brand new Roaster Tesla. It goes zero to 60 in 1.6 seconds, does over 270 miles an hour. It's the fastest production car ever made. And he goes, wow. And I go, hey, I got some time. If you do, you wanna take it for a test drive? And everybody laughs when I say that. So I didn't ask Mike and tell him that my car is better than his car. We didn't have to compare cars. And I didn't ask Mike to leave his dream car. I just asked him to test drive this car. So I even say, Mike, listen, I know that you're well known. Just use your initials in an email that no one knows. But you gotta check out this frickin' marketing system. It's amazing. So let me send you the link. Uh, you can go through it. I'll even show you how to activate so you can see all the free training in the marketing system. Because I know for a fact, Mike, if you had all this momentum in this marketing system, I know you could create so many more uh, impact in people's lives and make so much more money. So you just got to check this out. So what is the kryptonite for marketers? A better marketing system. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I don't think their system is good as mine. So Mike, I don't know if you want to add some words to that, but I have my email address that, that, that is my private email address. And then I have my marketing email addresses <laughs> because I'm checking out what everybody else is doing. If they appear online is being doing well and they're successful, I want to reverse engineer their entire marketing system. I want to find out what it is. And so, as soon as I get them in, because I'm building so fast, it doesn't take long for them to get all these emails saying there's a new person underneath you. There's a new person underneath you. And some cases, even though 
the person might be successful, I'm building a faster group for them than they're building in their company that they think they're active in. <laughs> and this sort of plays with their head a little bit. So uh, Deborah, did that help? Good, good. Thank you for bringing that up. It was something I wanted to cover and, and I'm glad that you brought that up. Uh, Mike, have you ever checked out anybody else's system? No, never, Robert. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I, you know, I think what this gets to and, and Robert, tell me if this this resonates with with everything your experience. People who are afraid of their chicken list, whether the chicken list is in network marketing or not, aren't really realizing that successful people think differently than everybody else. Correct. Please. And, 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 Please. and the biggest way we think differently is we like opportunities. Yes. We love opportunities. We're not afraid of opportunities. We're not afraid of connecting with people. No. Everything that everyone else is afraid of, successful people aren't. We love those things. And we also love to help. I keep getting these people all the time that say to me, Robert, if there was someone really, really successful and they were super, super busy, why would they help me? Because the two spiritual needs that every one of us need, whether you believe you're spiritual or not, is growth and contribution. Mm growth and contribution. I did this to a guy in Alabama when I was building a company called ACN. And I asked these two guys in a row, who's the most successful that person you know? David Williams, David Williams by far. And the first person I didn't ask who David was, the second one I did. And he goes, David is, um, he's built like four churches in, 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 in Alabama. He owns the largest fiber optic network company in the world. He sells fiber optic cable. <laughs> and, and so I went, is there any way that you can connect me with David? And he said, yeah, he's a deacon of my church. When I reached out and said the same thing as you guys heard me say, I said, David, man, there's two people that I ran into you that just thinks you're the bomb. And he goes, no, 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 I'm, I'm very, very blessed. And, and uh, I love people. And he says, I, I love helping people. And he says, how can I help you? And I said, I'm expanding a company right now. Do you guys notice that it was a different company than this? I'm expanding a company right now and it's really growing fast. And we're looking for people that need to supplement their income. Uh, in fact, you know, maybe there's a lot of people that you might have on payroll or maybe that are constantly asking to work for you, but they just don't have the talents that, that you need in your company. And so if you know people like that, you know, with your reference, I'd like to connect with them and help them, you know, really, really do well. And he goes, absolutely. You got to call Jim right away. And he gave me Jim's number. Now get this. I was going to try to pull, you know, David in later and I'll share with you what I was doing. So I reached out to Jim, but now because of his influence, Mike, oh my God. Hi, Jim. This is Robert Hollis. I don't, I know you don't know me directly, but David Williams told me to give you a call. Oh my God. Hang on one second. And I heard a door slam and he says, I had some people in my office. He said, I had to shut the door. Tell me what David said. Do you see that his influence was so big that Jim had to stop everything he's doing if David told me to call? And I said, David talked really highly about you. I'd like to share with you what we're doing. And he thought you would be great for this. And he goes, I I'll definitely do it right now. Send me the link. So when I sent him the links, I called David back. And I said, thank you so much for the reference with Jim. I just want to let you know that uh, our company has a way to be able to help people based off referrals. And he goes, Robert, I'm not interested in any way, shape or form. I said, okay. And he goes, I said, do you know anyone else? He goes, yeah, you got to call Larry. This guy gave me 17 people. And I built one of the largest organizations out of Georgia and Alabama. And the dude never would get in the business. Did you guys catch that? But, you know, some thinkers think that we got to get them to buy the product and we got to get them in the company as an executive or we can't work with them. <laughs> you got to, if people are busy, they'll still give you referrals. They'll love to help you. So, Mike, have you ever had someone randomly reach out to you and just say, God, is there any way I can get a couple of minutes of your time? I just need your guidance. And you're like, I love helping people. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the other thing here is it takes on a life of its own. When you do this, 
you now have people in your organization that came from this approach that are now doing it in their own unique way. Like you mentioned, someone's totally. got a CrossFit gym. I think a lot of people don't connect that. It's like, so not everyone's going to do it the exact same way. This is just a shortcut to create magic that turns out being unique to everybody, like the CrossFit gym owner or the doctor that you shared with me. Yeah, yeah. There's a, a guy that reached out to me. He's He owns clinics in Florida, and he's a um, board-certified surgeon, and, and he's a col colorectal surgeon, and and he was looking for his, his name even of his Caldwell Clinics or whatever, is they have like a plant in them because he uses CBD and other products for pain management. And, and by get, helping with cancer instead of using pharmaceutical drugs. Now, he is such an amazing guy and he's got so many clinics. Do you think me calling up a doctor and trying to get him to stop his practice to be a network marketer is really a good move? Do you guys see what I'm saying? It's like, so I just reached out to him and I just said, listen, I understand that you use uh, natural products for pain relief. And he says, I do. And I said, would you be open to checking out something else? And you could actually put them in your stores, buy them at wholesale. And if people want to continue to use the product, just give them your affiliate link and they can buy it and we'll pay you every month. And he goes, who came up with this idea? This is freaking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's all I did. So when he got in the company, he finally got excited from us getting him enough direct deposits that he showed up at a national convention. And you guys can, you know, uh, uh, Mike can share you those links, but you see these beautiful clinics and you walk in and he's got these glass displays and he's got uh, MDC products and, and all these glass displays in his clinics. <laughs> and so he's got to work it the way he wants to work it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some of us say, no, 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 no. This is the only way you can do this business. So if you run into an influencer, you'll, you'll notice that influencers you know, they're not, they're, they don't pay to buy product and they don't pay to get your program. And the other thing I love about MDC is this comp plan allows people to make bonuses and get paid a, a, a commission off the matching check bonus. And they don't have to do all this other company things that people force you to do to get paid. And if I remember right, he was, there was two people that a woman referred you to. He was one of them. A CrossFit owner was the other. Yep. And those two people are now making that woman $14,000 a month. Yep. And so, and the CrossFit owner is also doing it very differently than maybe a lot of people would. But those two people, the doctor with the clinics and the CrossFit owner came from referrals that basically came from the process that you were just teaching everybody today. Yeah. And believe it or not, people that are seven, eight, nines, and tens, um, you got to let them come up with their creativity uh, and let them do what they feel they need to do. Just help them and support them to do it in the way that they do it. And two things will happen. One way is their way works for them. It's not duplicatable. You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, the doctor I told you about is not going to other clinics and getting them to put the display in their, <laughs> their deal. So he just did that because he thought, oh my God, I got so many patients. If I had all my patients buying monthly from a website, they wouldn't have to come to my office and I'm still got another generation of pay. See, that's the only way he thought of it. So you're so correct, Mike. And, and so what I do is once these guys do get a direct deposit, um, they're not thinking of me. I wish they would every day, but I got to reach out to them. And I'm like, hey, Mike, this is Robert again. Hey, how you doing? Great. Listen, you had to think of another person that I can connect with you. Let me think. Greg. It's weird that they should be thinking of Greg already, and they should have sent me that right after I got Jim in. But They've already got a culture and a thought pattern in their mind and they got a lot going on and that's their habit. You know what I mean? So I'm sure the doctor gets up in the morning and does all this stuff that a morning person does. And then he's immediately, probably before he went to bed, he already knows what clients he's going to meet, what patients he's going to meet, what surgery he's going to do. He's already got that in his head. He's not saying, my God, I should have thought about Robert and getting him another referral. <laughs> Yeah.
So you got to ask, like you were saying earlier, you got to ask. And you got to get them results. You know what I mean? If they're going to give me a referral, I'll stop everything to make sure I get that person in activated and, and, you know, to try the product out for 60 days so I can get this guy a, a direct deposit. And it's funny, you know, I say all the guys that I've done this with, um, you know, um, the amount of money that they make from MDC, and don't get me wrong here, the, the money that they make from MDC is not blowing their mind. You know, I have no idea what Dr. Sukumi makes <laughs> as being a board certified surgeon with three clinics. <laughs> I, I just, I'm just assuming that he's doing okay. So the eight or 9,000 that he's making, enough, uh, making a month coming from uh, MDC is not something that I'm sure that he's telling everybody about, <laughs> you know? But um, I just got to call him out. I don't have to remind him, you know, that he's making that money. I, I just like, hey, listen, thanks again for connecting me to uh, Tim. Tim is really doing well with this. And, and I don't know when's the last time you talked to Tim. Oh, by the way, he called me just the other day and thanked me. You know, do you know another Tim? You know what? Yeah, I do. So every time I called David and said, are you sure you don't want to be in a position to get referral off these people? He goes, no, I, I told you that. And I said, but I'm sorry. I just need to ask. I'm just so grateful. Who else do you know? Call Larry. <laughs> Tell Larry I called. You bet your butt I'm going to. <laughs> so, yeah. So great, 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 great training. I think you guys, I, I hope you guys opened up and became a little creative. Sometimes we think the only way to do this is, is this niche little way that we do the business. And, um, you know, you want to be creative. You want to, you know, because th those people will always connect you with people. And for those of you that have people that, are below sixes, you know what I mean? They're six, fives, fours. Please, I know that Mike is doing this. You wanna reach out to people in your group that are, that, that are struggling, might have a, a lack of self-confidence, belief in themselves. Uh, maybe they've run across a, a, a bad few years of, of not doing well. You see what I mean? So in their mind, they're immediately not gonna say, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna call the best person I know. So you want to reach out to them and say, hey, listen, you know, I just heard of the story. Uh, if you guys look at the income disclosure statement, why doesn't anyone look at the people that are builders, directors, and executives and the highest amount that someone's been paid? Have you guys ever looked at that? I think like a director makes like $13,000 a month. <laughs> I, I can guarantee you that's from connections. And maybe they're, they don't even understand the comp plan well enough. Maybe they're just going, all right, well, I guess, what do I got to do? Um, you got to buy a bottle every month. I got to buy? No. If that group was creating 50, 60,000 of volume for me, guess what? I'm using my credit wallet and I'm, I'm sending them a bottle every month. I got one group right now. They just went over 160,000 I created that way. What's 20% of 160,000? 32 grand plus I check match them. And I think their check this month was like 18,000. So I get 30% of the 18,000 and 32,000 uh, from their group. And they were all a referral, which by the way, Deborah was a professional network marketer. So when hmm. I was talking to a network marketer, I just said, come on, who's somebody? I, I'll do the role play really quick with Mike. So I go with Mike. Is there anything I can do or say to get you to look at what I'm doing? Oh my God, I'm the second happiest person on the planet other than you. I love my home. I love where I am. This is what I'm doing. And I'm going, Mike, are you one of those people that are like challenge oriented? Love challenges. Cool. I want you to give me a name. I'm going to give you mine first, by the way. His name is Ken Turnbow. There's a guy that I know that is so good and he keeps going into companies for a couple of years at a time and he always hits the top. I cannot get this dude to listen to me. I just can't. But yet I hear he goes into another company when I've already talked to him about mine. I'm going like, I don't know if it's just not a mesh with our personalities or he's 
probably always upset that I kick his butt. He can't be number one in my company. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get it. <laughs> he could be number two. But what I would like to do, Mike, is I'll, I'll, I'll set you up perfect. I'll edify you with Ken Turnbow. I'll connect you in a group chat. He's a really pleasant and nice guy. So he's going to hear you out. And just maybe, just maybe you can get him in your program instead of mine. And all I'm going to ask you in favor is who's those, that one person, Mike, that you keep going, ah, the, the timing always seems off. When you're jumping in a new thing, he's one of the top 10 people you call and he goes, oh, Mike, you're only eight months away. I already, I'm, I'm doing this now. So if you give me a name and, and I give you a name, let's just make a little competition here. And what we do is if the person does decide to get involved, I'll give you a shot, Mike, to put a spot in underneath a corporate name or whatever uh, to make the 30% uh, off uh, the referral on, on the commission. Let's do it. So right away, you can take someone that, you know, they think, they think they're as good or in their mind, they might even think they're better than you. And you're going, I know you got some people that you can't get in your business that you wish you could. Give them to me. <laughs> it's awesome man I, like this is a great training i i'm glad i recorded it because i yeah, want to it's, fanta it's fantastic I want to copy and, of this <laughs> and there's there's dozens and dozens of con of comments thanking you and saying this is just pure gold people are going to watch it over and over again so this has been fantastic mind blown i mean this goes on someone i know you've been really generous with your time if we have time for one question charles uh, sure. says, I have a question. So Charles, if Charles, can he unmute himself and just ask to fire the last question off? Yeah. Hi. Thanks, Mike. And hey, uh, Charles. hey Robert, I don't, Charles and I don't Charles, know if I've heard of you. Uh, yeah. um, we haven't seen each other or work with each other for about, I think now it's like 30 years. So wow. anyhow, um, my question is, is that I'm brand new. Um, I have a lot of people on my list. Some of my, some of them are chicken, you know, on my chicken list. Some of them are just the average people that I want to talk to. And um, so my question with all this, you know, what you're talking about is, first of all, my sponsor is brand new too. He just signed up as well. And he, I don't think he's even on this call. And then um, I just met Mike, so I don't even have a relationship with him. And like I said, with you, I don't think I, we've even worked with you for over 30 years. So I don't, you know, our relationship has not been growing for the last 30 years. And how do I, so what do I do or who do I contact to talk to my chicken list people, you know, in that situation? Because I don't have anyone directly right. above me that can just say, oh, yeah, you know, just call me or whatever you know, whenever you have somebody and I'll, you know, I'll do exactly what you said you would do, Robert. So who do I help? You know, who, how do I do that? I, I, I I'll definitely help you. Mike, would you help him? Absolutely, Charles. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we're right here. And in fact, Charles, me, you and Mark, Mark have a, a, a session scheduled, I think today. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. I know. It's going to, I'm very excited about that. Yeah, Charles, I can guarantee you that the same thoughts, and they're not bad, you just have to be aware that you know that you have them. So the same reason that you won't connect with some people is the same reason you've never asked me if I'd help you talk to the people. You're looking at me through a different, I, 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 he's too busy, he's made so much money, he's like a, a legend, all this crazy stuff that people talk about. But my goal is to go to master affiliate. If I need to go to master affiliate, I want Mike to go to super. And for him to go super, he needs some people that need to be 500s or 250s. Are you interested, Charles? Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think that's a mind shift for a lot of people here uh, that you guys are our business partners, like Robert's talking about. Amen. And, and we're here to help you build. And, and there doesn't need to be hesitation. Like, like we're ready. And if you're ready, it's going to grow very quickly. It's, it becomes very easy. Yeah, it's really easy. And, I, and, and when you guys put Mike and I and other people on Zooms that you guys know that are really, really effective, guess what? I always record them just like this. So I can send them back to you. And, you know, when I first connected with Mike, if Mike said, you know, well, I'm not going to bother Robert, um, 
he wouldn't have connected with Deborah, and Deborah wouldn't have asked him to do this training, and we wouldn't be doing it. So, Deborah, thank you very much. Mike, thank you very much. And Charles, here we are. So, yeah, I can put together. Hey, thank you. Uh, yeah, I can even put together a little sequence that you want to do, you know, with people. And I got a couple minutes, so I'll, I'll give you the sequence really quickly. When you reach out to people, I'll give you what I say, all right? And, and you know, I can send it to Mike if he can send it to you. But I'm always using all psychology of who I learned from in 33 years. So sometimes don't ask yourself, I wonder why he says it this way. Just know that, you know, it, I, I believe this month will be our first $200,000 month with MDC. <laughs> and it's like, you know, we've been in it for 28 months. So I, I use this at the beginning and I use this still today. So I would reach out to you, Charles, with what I said before is first to set up just to connect. And I'd say, hey, Charles, I know we haven't talked in a while or we've never talked. I, it doesn't matter. I see that you uh, are following me. I see that you sent me a friend request. It doesn't matter, you know? So I'm going to say, Charles, listen, I hope this message finds you and yours blessed and safe during these uncertain times. I hadn't talked to you a while or I just wanted to thank you for sending me a friend request or thank you for following me. And, um, you know, if there's anything I can do to help you, let me know. That's my first step with everyone. The second step is, is when they come back and go, what are you doing versus what am I doing? That kind of thing. It usually gets into it pretty fast. I just say, listen, you know what? Right now I'm working with a business partner, Mike uh, and, and Robert, their business contacts of mine. And what I wanted to do is I was wondering if you could help me out. And, and uh, I'm expanding this company right now. It's breaking records. Uh, it's done 270 million, it's six years old and debt free. And, and with this proving system, and it's free to get involved, the marketing system and trainings for free. So I was wondering if you would give me permission to send you a link so that when you watch these videos, you're going to know some people that it, that, that it can help. So the emphasis is on free marketing system. You can help us check it out. Uh, a sh longer version of the red Tesla roaster. <laughs> <laughs> a more direct of people are already marketers, right? And so once they say yes to that, as soon as they pre-enroll, as soon as they pre-enroll, reach out to them and say, thank you very much, Charles, for pre-enrolling. What I'd like to do is show you how to activate. I can send you a link where you put your email in and you can activate for free. And I just really, really would love to be able to do a group chat with you and my business partners. If you have any questions, they can help answer those. And also, if they need to schedule a Zoom, we could do that. That's exactly what I shared with Mike a couple of weeks ago, and that's exactly what he does. Mike's one of the most coachable people I've ever met in a long, long time. He's, he's going to go super affiliate really fast. <laughs> it took me a while, though, to get there. I had to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... I was one of those guys with a big ego, like my way is the best way. And, uh, but when I, you know, when I know that you're making millions and, uh, it's so much easier what you're doing, uh, I opened up and said, uh, okay, I need to, I need to learn from this guy. And Mike, honestly, because I, I know who you are and what you did. I always tell people all the time, it's like Mike and I met each other and we're both professional race car drivers. And he was, uh, an, uh, an Indy car driver and I'm an ass car driver. And it's like, it's just different ways that you do stuff. You know what I mean? And so, you know, there's very few people like Amario and Dreddy, you know, that can, you can put them in anything and he, he can win in it. <laughs> so if I was in Mike's world doing what Mike was doing, I'd be an idiot not to use Mike. You know what I mean? And network marketing is a different animal because it's more about creating free time and creating business owners duplicating with as little as possible. You know, uh, I'll, I'll leave you guys with this statement because I got to jump on another one is if you run this through your thought pattern for you guys that are marketers for a while, listen closely, stop doing what works and only do what duplicates. Network marketing is about freedom and you guys want 25,000 people like I have doing a little bit every day they're introducing me to more people that's why my organization grows that's why my checks keep increasing that's why people keep getting rank advances so as soon as you start sharing 
a lot of information and technical information, you're being a salesperson. You're not being a business owner that is teaching people how to start a business. So I was laughing with Mike the other day. I was like, holy cow, I've ne I can't remember the last time. It had to be at least, no kidding, 25, 26 years ago that I've been in a, 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 any presentation that was over two hours. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, listen, bam, you know, just get to it. Oh, they're, they're buzzing me now. I got to go, Mike. All right. Thanks, Robert. Really appreciate you, man. Thanks, Deborah, thanks, thanks, Charles. Thanks, James. Thanks, everybody that was on here. I appreciate you. You can do this, man. It's easy. It's simple. Keep it simple so people would go, oh, my God, is that all you do? D, is that all you do? Yeah, it is. Oh, my God, I could do that all day. So happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. Have a very blessed and safe uh, uh, weekend. And uh, really think about what independence is. Because there's a lot of people right now that think they're independent and they're dependent. They're screaming and waiting for their damn job to get back. And they complained about it when they had it. <laughs> All right. Love and appreciate Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Robert. You bet. Bye-bye.